Marshall Swing, Global Economic Collapse July 20 to 27, 2018, Part I, The Calculation and Significance, If Marshall is correct, gold and silver will vanish from the market as paper investments go to zero, and then the stakes really get high by Marshall Swing via the Church of Acts Global Economic Collapse July 20 to 27, 2018. Part 1 A year ago, January 26, I was scanning dozens of news sites, which is something I do every day, to ascertain trends in financial-slash-economic, political, social-slash-medical-slash-health, and prophetic events. What I saw on RT.com was unbelievable so I immediately wrote, and posted Global Economic Collapse July 20, 2018 to Spiov. With my thoughts, but no one seemed interested to publish so it remained on my website, posted on Facebook, and some shared Facebook groups, and shared with some close friends. Many astute economic analysts were publishing warnings about global economic crash scenarios for 2017, so I waited patiently to see if my doubt and suspicions were wrong and unwarranted. 2017 passed without incident and the U.S. markets blasted off into the stratosphere very much like my endgame scenarios written in spring 2014, where I described and predicted 2015 capital inflows to the U.S. from all over the world just before the global economic crash. Martin Armstrong had long predicted similar scenarios for different reasons. Now here we are in 2018, to the dismay of many great analysts, and still no global crash, though bubbles of all kinds are all around us, all over the world, and little to nothing has been done to alleviate the crash conditions that existed in 2008. In fact, many, many analysts' sick conditions are far worse now than in 2008. Also to the great disbelief of almost all participants in the precious metals world, my August 2014 silver bottoms trough has held for 3.5 years. There is not a writer slash analyst in all of the economic analysts in the world who predicted such a thing, and mine was not a true prediction, just an observation of a trend. But as far as predictions go there was no other analyst in all the world who predicted silver and gold would crash from their winter 2012 38 to $42 range to $15 either. $15 silver came true in fall 2014. It is very difficult to see a month in advance let alone 3 to 3.5 years in advance. In recent months. I began including in my posts the link to my original Tisha Biov article so interested watchers would be aware of it. Amazingly enough, Silver Doctors informed me that the highly respected X22 report picked up my article and did a special show on it making a far better audio slash video presentation that I did in my original writing. And that is why I am doing this rewrite. The X22 report presentation of my finding is here, https www.youtube.com slash watch v equals wb21 dehuke. The world has to know this coincidental possibility that the global elite dipped their head, or almost no one will be prepared if in fact the global economic crash occurs this July. The RT.com article HTTPS www.rt.com slash business slash 375130 Brexit dash Trump dash UK dash Malloc slash centers around an elitist hobnobber named Ted Malook HTTPS and dot Wikipedia dot org slash WIKI slash Ted Malich, who was reported to be Trump's pick for EU ambassador. My look wrote a book entitled Davos, Aspen, and Yale, My Life Behind the Elite Curtain as a Global Sherpa. His interview references Joseph Stiglitz, who is the former chief economist of the World Bank. If ever there were a couple of people qualified to announce the elite's global economic crash, these two guys Ted and Joe are supremely qualified. So, after reading the article, and researching both Ted and Joe, I wondered to myself what will the actual date be 18 months out? 
A quick calculation showed 18 months to be 547.5 days, so in a spreadsheet I added that number to January 26, 2017, and it resulted in July 27, 2018. Next, I went to the online Jewish calendar, and saw the date to be a minor Jewish holiday called, https and wikipedia.org slash wik slash of which is sort of a relief day of questionable Jewish traditions, and a week behind to be of, on the calendar is the extremely well-known Jewish fast day of, https and wikipedia.org slash wik slash tisha percent 27 of, Tisha B'Av is infamous because the first and second temples were destroyed on this day in history, and the Jews were expelled from England, on this day, in 1290 CE, from France on Tisha B'Av, in 1306, and Spain expelled the Jews, on this day, in 1492, and Holocaust historians credit the day Germany declared WWI on Russia, as, you guessed it, Tisha B'Av 1914. Then the Nazi Party issued the final solution to exterminate Jews on Tisha B'Av 1941, which ultimately culminated in the death of six million Jews. With their first temple destroyed, according to the scriptures, the Jews were exiled to Babylon for 70 years, one year for each seventh-year Sabbath they had not allowed the ground to rest and recover while they trusted YHVH God for food in that Sabbath year. The historical biblical Tisha B'Av entries are always God as punishment of Israel for not keeping his commandments and a very good case is made down through all history of the same events related to Tisha B'Av. So, immediately the question in my mind was what if I calculate the 18 months in prophetic time instead of Gregorian calendar time? Why calculate it in prophetic time, some might ask. In several places in the Bible we are given prophetic time in terms of 30-day months. The first instance is Noah in Genesis, where the waters prevailed exactly five months, and are a 150-day period. There are no 31-day months in a lunar calendar, because the lunar cycle is 29.53 days. There are only 30 and 29 day months in a lunar calendar, so the Noah story is communicating a special 30 day cycle. Seven times, in the Bible, passages referred to a specific tribulation in Revelation, by using an equal 42 month period, 1260 day period, and a 3.5 year period. They are Revelation 11 2 13 5, Revelation 11 3 12 6, and Daniel 7 25 12 7 Revelation 12 14 1260 days divided by 42 months equals 30 days, or 3.5 years of months. Prophecy scholars have been using those 30 day months for thousands of years to try and figure out when the time described in Daniel and Revelation begins. By the way, I claim to have discovered exactly when that 1260-day tribulation period mathematically occurs, and I can tell you it is definitely not 2018, as some think. It is the following year. So, when I simply multiply 18 months by 30 days equals 540 days then add that to January 26, 2017, and it comes to Friday July 20th, 2018. Politicians love to announce bad news on Friday afternoons. Americans and most of the world are preparing for the weekend, getting ready for the Friday night parties, watching major sporting events on Saturday and Sunday, partying on Saturday night, and generally closing their eyes and ears all weekend to bad news, in the world perhaps drowning the news in their intoxicant of choice. And by Monday there is usually another bad news story from somewhere afar, and all that was buried in Friday as news is forgotten so somehow, Ted Malook, on January 26, 2017, in conjunction with Joseph Stiglitz, managed to very covertly indicate two consecutive Fridays 18 months far away in the future, as the time when the U might collapse, and no one else in the world noticed. The mathematical improbability of the sequence I present here is really huge. Coincidence? 
and not only that but Ted Malik indicated two Fridays surrounding the infamous day in Jewish history, when their first temple was destroyed, and they were carried away captive to Babylon for many, many decades, because they failed to let the ground rest during God's seventh year Sabbath, for the ground and Dead's releases. That plus all the multitude of other violations of God's law that Israel committed for many, many generations. Coincidence? And guess what? This year 2018 is the 70th anniversary of Israel returning to the land, and for the entirety of these past 70 years the nation of Israel, and most of its farmers have not let the ground rest, at all choosing to lease the ground out to Arabs so they will not be liable to God for using the ground, and the contracts have a guaranteed by back clause at the end of the year. The practice, a legal loophole, was developed by a chief rabbi, and is called Heder Mechira. Long after Alexander the Great conquered Israel, and the Middle East, in the division of Alexander's kingdom there arose a Greek king named Antiochus, who is credited with the historical abomination of desolation. We know from Daniel, Revelation, and Yeshua slash Jesus himself we are looking for another future abomination of desolation. I am pretty sure I have found it in 2019, but that is a topic for another time. This article merely discusses the setup preparation for future calamity. You would think the Jews would have learned their lesson well the first time around wouldn't he you? But they did not learn. They fell again in false man-made traditions and were conquered by the Greeks, then the Romans, then Yeshua Messiah, Jesus Christ, came along and spoke out against their false, man-made traditions and tried to restore the Father as commandments but they killed him and were finally banished from the land in 70 Ad until Israel became a nation again in 1948. Now, you might be asking yourself what do the Fridays surrounding Tishpiov have to do with the rest of the world, and what in the Bible has anything to with the global economic collapse? I am so glad you asked, as that subject I will save for part two. Stay thirsty for physical metals my friends, and buy all you can before July 1st, 2018 because after that time there probably will not be any left to buy and if the crash happens all paper fiat investments go to zero, Marshall. Marshall Swing, Global Economic Collapse July 20th to 27th, 2018, Part I, The Calculation and Significance, If Marshall is correct, gold and silver will vanish from the market as paper investments go to zero, and then the stakes really get high by Marshall Swing via the Church of Acts Global Economic Collapse July 20th to 27th, 2018. Part 1 A Year Ago January 26, I was scanning dozens of news sites, which is something I do every day, to ascertain trends in financial slash economic, political, social slash medical slash health, and prophetic events. What I saw on RT.com was unbelievable so I immediately wrote, and posted Global Economic Collapse July 20th, 2018 to Spiov, with my thoughts, but no one seemed interested on South. A quick calculation showed 18 months to be 547.5 days, so in a spreadsheet I added that number to January 26, 2017, and it resulted in July 27, 2018. 
Next, I went to the online Jewish calendar and saw the date to be a minor Jewish holiday called https and wikipedia.org slash wik slash of which is sort of a relief day of questionable Jewish traditions and a week behind to be of on the calendar is the extremely well-known Jewish fast day of https and wikipedia.org slash wik slash dashab percent 27 of Tisha B'Av is infamous because the first and second temples were destroyed on this day in history, and the Jews were expelled from England, on this day, in 1290 CE, from France on Tisha B'Av, in 1306, and Spain expelled the Jews, on this day, in 1492, and Holocaust historians credit the day Germany declared WWI on Russia, as, you guessed it, Tisha B'Av 1914. Then the Nazi Party issued the final solution to publish so it remained on my website, posted on Facebook, and some shared Facebook groups, and shared with some close friends. Many astute economic analysts were publishing warnings about global economic crash scenarios for 2017, so I waited patiently to see if my doubt and suspicions were wrong and unwarranted. 2017 passed without incident and the U.S. markets blasted off into the stratosphere very much like my endgame scenarios written in spring 2014, where I described and predicted 2015 capital inflows to the U.S. from all over the world just before the global economic crash. Martin Armstrong had long predicted similar scenarios for different reasons. Now here we are in 2018, to the dismay of many great analysts, and still no global crash, though bubbles of all kinds are all around us, all over the world, and little to nothing has been done to alleviate the crash conditions that existed in 2008. In fact, many, many analysts sick conditions are far worse now than in 2008. Also to the great disbelief of almost all parties HTTPS www.youtube.com slash watch v equals wb21 dehuke. The world has to know this coincidental possibility that the global elite dipped their head or almost no one will be prepared if in fact the global economic crash occurs this July. The RT.com article HTTPS www.rt.com slash business slash 375130 Brexit dash Trump dash UK dash Malloc slash centers around an elitist hobnobber named Ted Malook HTTPS and wikipedia.org slash WIKI slash Ted Malich, who was reported to be Trump's pick for EU ambassador. My look wrote a book entitled Davos, Aspen, and Yale, My Life Behind the Elite Curtain as a Global Sherpa. His interview references Joseph Stiglitz, who is the former chief economist of the World Bank. If ever there were a couple of people qualified to announce the elite's global economic crash, these two guys Ted and Joe are supremely qualified. So, after reading the article, and researching both Ted and Joe, I wondered to myself what will the actual date be 18 months in the precious metals world. My August 2014 silver bottoms trough has held for 3.5 years. There is not a writer slash analyst in all of the economic analysts in the world who predicted such a thing, and mine was not a true prediction, just an observation of a trend. But as far as predictions go there was no other analyst in all the world who predicted silver and gold would crash from their winter 2012-38 to $42 range to $15 either. $15 silver came true in fall 2014. It is very difficult to see a month in advance let alone 3 to 3.5 years in advance. In recent months. I began including in my posts the link to my original Tisha B'Av article so interested watchers would be aware of it. Amazingly enough, Silver Doctors informed me that the highly respected X-22 report picked up my article and did a special show on it making a far better audio slash video presentation that I did in my original writing. And that is why I am doing this rewrite. The X-22 report presentation of my finding is here, 